welcome students to semester two of organic chemistry. Oh yeah! Now I've got some pertinent instructions for students who are actually taking this class for me in real life. Now for any of you who are just watching this for free on YouTube, please bask in the glorious assurance that you won't be graded on any of it. And you don't have to pay for it. And you won't receive any college credit for it. And kittens are cute. <laughs> well, mischief managed. So, for those of you who are actually taking this class from me, or anyone else who happens to care, this class will draw from the second half of Polly Urcanus Brewis's seminal textbook, Organic Chemistry, 6th edition, The Revenge of Clab Half Trapper. Okay, the book doesn't actually have that subtitle, so you'll have to wait for a later day to read about the swashbuckling adventures of Clab Half Trapper. Also, when I say seminal textbook, I'm using the word seminal to mean influential, important, or groundbreaking instead of some more vulgar meaning. I mean, gosh, guys, get your minds out of the toilet. In the meantime, here's the deal. If you log on to Canvas, which is Utah State University's version of Blackboard, you'll see that I've posted links here to our course syllabus and schedule. If you click on the schedule, you can download it. And you'll notice that starting on week one, which is shown right here, we'll be covering a review of NMR spectroscopy and chapter 15. If you click on the link that says NMR review and chapter 15, you'll be redirected to this page, where you can access our first problem set, right here, as well as videos on these topics, you know, NMR spectroscopy and chapter 15. I'll also give you links to my full PowerPoint presentations that I use for these videos, all brought to you courtesy of your exorbitant student fees. Exorbitant student fees. Thank you for keeping me employed. Now you may notice that these two spectroscopy review videos are really just videos from chapters 13 and 14 from last semester. Now if you happen to remember all of that stuff, then you don't actually need to re-watch these videos. If not, however, then you might want to watch them again. Why? Well, frankly, I didn't teach you guys spectroscopy just so that you can memorize it, vomit it up on one exam, and then never use it again for the rest of your lives. I taught it to you so that you could wield it like a pro. Like a verifiable clab hap trapper, NMR spectroscopist extraordinaire. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going to have to create that novel franchise just to see where it takes me. But seriously, I will have at least one spectroscopy problem on every single problem set that you'll see this semester, including problem set one, found right here on Canvas. Canvas, a closely woven, heavy cloth used to make tents. So for now, my dear students, please watch these videos and get cracking on this problem set. If you have any questions, then good, bring them with you. I look forward to seeing you guys in class.